Hey everyone, it's Sarah here and today I'll be talking about the style of First Lady of the United States, Melania Trump. She is styled to within an inch of her life. Her style is impeccable and she's always so well turned out. And in fact, her style is quite easy to achieve. We're going to take a look at what kind of style personality she has. So as I record this, it's June 2019 and President Trump and Melania Trump have just visited the UK and Ireland. We're going to look at some key outfits that she wore throughout her transatlantic visit over the last few days. I'd love to know what you think of her style so please comment below. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll be giving some tips and tricks to achieve a similar style to Melania Trump. So let's take a look at her first outfit. So they landed in Stansted Airport in the UK on Air Force One and as usual, Melania Trump was looking fabulous. Now, this was not one of my favorite looks of Melania's. She wore a navy suit, a skirt suit, a two-piece from Michael Kors and a Burberry blouse. And while it looks perfect, to me, it just, she, it looks like she's going to work. It looks like she's going to the office. Now, she, might have meant that as a message you know she means business i don't know it wasn't my favorite look for the occasion it was quite hard i think a little unapproachable and we don't see her smile very often she usually has this kind of resting bitch face can i say that she's also wearing some oversized sunglasses so I mean, it's a classic look. It's not overly fussy. Pencil skirt, uh, her jacket is draped across her shoulders. How that didn't fly off her shoulders walking down the steps from the aircraft, I don't know, because it was a windy day. Her hair was in her face. Um, she's wearing Louboutin shoes. How she got down the stairs in one piece with her jacket still on her shoulders is a mystery to me. The second look from Melania Trump was her visit to the Queen in a Dolce & Gabbana white dress coat. I think this was absolutely stunning and it's paired with um, a wide brimmed hit, wide, a wide brimmed hat with navy accents. So you can see her waist is highlighted by this thick navy belt and the, the collar, a lot of the things she wears are high around the neck. Now, it's quite a conservative look considering her previous photos that she did. Um, so yeah, she, she does have a very conservative look these days, which I suppose is expected for the First Lady of the United States. She plays it safe with her makeup. She just has this dark eye and a nude lip. Now this Dolce & Gabbana dress coat, you might argue that she was channeling her inner Princess Diana on this one, or maybe Rose from Titanic. You know that outfit that she wore when she was boarding the ship? Quite similar, but very classic, very simple and very chic. I like this outfit. Um, really sophisticated, it suits her body shape really well. She seems to have a slim hourglass figure, so um, she always highlights her waist with a little belt. The next look is when Donald Trump and Melania Trump were visiting 10 Downing Street, and she wore a Celine camel coat, which is again belted at the waist. I, I like this coat, however, I think that Melania's quite busty as it is and she's got this um, on this coat there's two flaps on the pockets just on her boobs and it kind of gives her even more volume in this area which she doesn't need. I don't know about these flaps on the the bus they're like hello uh, I'm not sure about this. You can't really go wrong with the camel coat but the placement of these details are really important and I think it was just a little bit off here. 
but I have to say she's making good use of her wardrobe. We saw this coat in June 2018 as well. So uh, like I said in one of my other videos, you cannot go wrong with the classic camel coat, except if you've got flaps on the boobs. For Melania's next look, we are looking at the outfit she wore to dinner with Charles and Camilla. Now she's dressed in a beautiful Givenchy gown. Uh, it's in a true red color and again very conservative high neck and kind of a cape style on the sleeves uh, floor length and it's quite stunning it's you know it's a wow piece absolutely she stands out in this and she looks amazing she has a bit of a softer look her hair is down for this style which is really nice and um, she tends to wear her hair up and back a lot and it, it can look quite harsh I think especially with her dark eye makeup so this is a much softer look now the only thing I would have said about this is that I, I'm missing like a little belt around her waist it doesn't show off her shape very well and that would be my only thing I would tweak about this outfit. Uh, otherwise, she looks amazing. So after her state visit to the UK, Melania and Donald Trump then visited Ireland. And for this, she arrived in a beautiful um, kind of off-white, it's a bit of kind of a cream white outfit in a beautiful coat and a very simple Philip Tracy hat and her hair tied back again, dark eye makeup and a nude lip. And she looks absolutely, she's glowing in this color actually. Um, it really brings out the kind of apricot tones in her skin. So I think she looks really well. For Melania's final look, it's her look that she wore uh, leaving Ireland. So they were boarding at Shannon Airport onto Air Force One. And for this, she wore a Burberry trench coat and a Hermes blue scarf around her hair. She obviously learned her lesson about arriving in the UK on that windy day and her hair was all over the place. So she made a smart move by covering up her hair. I'm not entirely sure about this outfit. I don't think uh, the Burberry trench coat is as sophisticated to match up with the uh, Hermes headscarf. I think that's a really chic look, but the trench coat is just a little bit, for me it's, it comes across a little bit casual compared to the scarf. It's like two different outfits. Now maybe it was a last minute thought because it was a windy day, but I'm not a fan of the two of them together. The Burberry trench coat is it's classic style. It's a double breasted belted look. The, it looks a little bit messy on the bottom just because the belt is kind of hanging down. It's not styled in any way. And uh, it, it doesn't look like a great fit, dare I say it, on Melania. Just as it seems to be a little bit of pulling across under the shoulders and uh, I don't know, it just it looks a little bit messy for me. There's a few creases. I know you can't avoid creases. I mean, she's got to sit down at some point and it just looked a little bit off to me. Um, otherwise, I love the oversized sunglasses and the headscarf. I think that's a really chic look, really sophisticated. So what is Melania's style personality? Well, undoubtedly she is a classic style. She plays it very safe with her outfits, with colors. You rarely see a number of different colors in her outfits. It tends to be uh, nudes and then maybe an accent color, like a red or that blue scarf that we saw. She is very conservative. As I said, now she wears almost everything high up around the neck. She tends to wear coats. Um, the day of the uh, inauguration for President Trump, she wore, I think it was that day, she wore a beautiful uh, pale blue coat with a high neck collar. I thought that was a beautiful look and matching gloves. Really stunning and elegant. And I think that's, that's the key to her look. She keeps things very, very simple. From head to toe, the colors are you know, there's just one color throughout the outfit, um, or maybe two, very rarely more than that. So she 
clearly loves tailored looks. She has an amazing figure and she shows that off with her belted coats. And she opts for really good materials like silk and she chooses fine knits. And of course she's head to toe in designer gear. But of course, we know that we can achieve this look. If, you know, we don't have to be wearing designer gear to achieve a classic look. It's about wearing more tailored things, wearing smart trousers or skirts over jeans and very clean lines. Throw on a pair of oversized sunglasses and a headscarf and you are good to go as a classic style. But that's it from me today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I would love to hear if you like this video and if you'd like to see me talk about anybody else's styles out there that you admire, or indeed styles that you do not admire, and uh, different style personalities. Thanks very much and see you next time.